lovely peoples. All right, green is the theme today. <laughs> and the camera is having a massive fit, so. All right, so the dark is elusive, the medium is lime spider, and the light is jade, although lime spider and jade are pretty close. So I'll probably put some titanium in this. Um, <clears throat> Yes, <laughs> I was out here just cutting the clementine and I was inside talking to Keely before so I was already sort of in soap mode anyway because we were talking about recipes and um, yeah I come out and cut that and then for some reason I don't know why I decided I was going to sniff some more of these range for pro, pro, blah, 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 blah. the range fragrances just I don't know to remind myself and I smelt the, the lime and went you know I have to soap it's disgusting in here. It's cooled down a little bit because we've got the fan on. So it's 30. But still, <laughs> it's too hot to be soaping. And I don't care because I just have to soap with it. Alright. And I'm also, what I'm thinking of doing is... What I'm thinking of doing is a layered soap. So with no white in it, just the three greens. And then keep back a little bit of mix and just do a little white piping on top. Maybe just one row of white and then do a green drizzle because we didn't do the yellow drizzle on the the clementine and i <laughs> found this in the microwave <laughs> which i'd forgotten that i had melted so i thought well, we could do a green drizzle and make it look like cordial for those of you new to the place this already has its everything in it including the lie and i mount i have now found all the bubbles in the universe and put them in there <laughs> which is what i generally do now I have only barely mixed this. I'm not even 100% sure it's, it's, a, it's reached emulsion yet. Mmm, possibly. Now, all I'm doing is looking at the head of my stick blender and generally you can see whether it's all sticking together, which is what emulsion or emulsifying means, uh, or if it's still, still separating, which means it's not. It doesn't matter because I'm going to stick blend all of these anyway. If it's if it's together enough to get them poured off, it's okay. So, but I want to keep this at uh, not. I don't want it to reach trace yet because I have more mixing to do. Um, all right, so let's do that for now. Let's just get this out because I need to know what I'm doing. So we'll turn these around so I can actually see the measurements. Um, not entirely sure how much I'm going to need because I need to. I need to keep some aside for the white, but I don't know how much. Because as usual, I'm just just pouring shit and hoping for the best. All right, we might actually. How about? That's probably way, way more than I need, so I'll probably be doing a lot more piping than I was just mentioning. Guys, it's honestly, for those of you in Australia, you, pr I don't really know, is there anyone who in Australia who doesn't know what green cordial smells like? Like, it's a staple, isn't it? Maybe of not the younger ones, maybe the millennials and stuff. Although, I mean, in saying that, I have millennial children and they all got green cordial when they were kids. So maybe younger than that, maybe like teenagers. Although, I don't know if any teenagers would actually watch this channel. Um, and if you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, but yes, uh, it just smells like green cordial. It, there, I, it, it doesn't. It's not lime, as in lime the fruit. It's green cordial. It's so good. Oh, and I've been looking forward. Like I was really, really looking forward to doing the the clementine. And honestly, <laughs> that is such a good soap. But this lime, though. <laughs> I'm thinking I might mix the clementine and the lime together. I think, because I have enough to do it, so, and I think that would make a really nice soap. Ooh, yeah, a little bit of titanium in here, I think. And this is elusive, and this is a beautiful, beautiful dark, like dark emerald green. Um, I'm not, I always say I don't like green, but I think I do. Well, I say that every time too. 
Uh, because every time I make green, oh, yeah, I managed to actually chew the side of that finger. <laughs> it, oh, woo, don't do that. Even with um, nails on, I've managed to chew it. I don't know how, but you know, if you're determined enough, and now it's stinging because it's got soap better in it. So it serves me right for not wearing gloves. Really? Doesn't it? <laughs> yes, the perils of, of I was going to say sleeping without gloves on, which I can't imagine there's any perils involved in sleeping without gloves on. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of funny. Sleeping without gloves on. Yeah, well, I can't imagine sleeping with gloves on at all. Oh, that was dumb. There's white over there. Actually, we'll leave that unmixed for now. That's better. Look at that. So, you know, I mean, I always say soap batter doesn't hurt me, but sometimes it just goes, well, bitch, you keep saying we're not dangerous, so I'm just going to prove you wrong. And it did. Very wrong. <laughs> fell on the floor that goes in the bin too okay so I'm really really happy with these colors I don't think I'm gonna put any fragrance in the um, in the white I don't know we'll have a look and see how it behaves first shall we um, we might actually take the spoon out and use a spatula to mix it and pop in there make sure she's all mixed up how's that battery going oh yeah it seems to be fine I used it yesterday so I was a bit worried that um, that it might go flat really quick okay so there's no rising there's no separation okay and it's it's not thickening. Oh Christ, it's not thickening. I want to do layers. <laughs> Freaking shit. <laughs> okay. Well, what I might do... <laughs> How friggin' typical is that? We'll put the fragrance in all three. I might actually keep a little bit back for the... Um, <coughs> for the for the piping on top. A bit worried. Oh no, it should be alright. I was going to say, I'm a bit worried this is a little too light, but I think it'll be alright. It's very nice. Okay. A bit for you. I'll keep it there a tiny bit for you. Interesting to see if this one with the titanium thickens up at all quicker, because sometimes that'll do that. Also, different colours, as I say every video lately, different colours will behave differently with the same fragrance. So, it's kind of interesting to see. Soap is such a, it's such a, it's an elusive nut to crack. Because, you know, just different things do different things. I mean, if I was just making the same fragrances over and over again it would be fine because I would know how they react in different colors but because I every soap I make is a new fragrance they're the same colors like I don't tend to buy new micas very often um, but uh, yeah that is a bit thicker I'm noticing than the other two like you can see that's just a little bit closer to trace than these two but I, to do layers, I'm actually going to have to give these a stick blend. <laughs> wow, a colour me impressed. I'm just going to give that a bit of a, a bit of a mix through. I will stick blend it. Not yet, but I will stick blend it. Okay, so we'll, well, no we won't because I haven't ripped any up. Don't let me go in the bin. <sighs> give this a clean and then we'll start stick blending so we can make layers now I might actually do textured layers if I can get it thicken up <laughs> I mean it's probably thick enough there for a layer but it's not very thick and I was looking for very thick oh it smells so frigging good 
so I'm not entirely sure how long that stick blend was for. I'll be able to tell you on the edit because I'll be able to time it exactly. So please, editing Lee, tell the people how long I mixed that for. It's still not very thick. Oh, look, it's thick enough. Oh! The other thing I'm looking forward to if I actually move is being able to set this up on a smaller bit of bench so I don't have to lean so far forward. <laughs> so I'm sick of that. I actually was thinking of moving everything around in here anyway. Um, but because hopefully I'm moving, I just thought that was stupid. <laughs> It's funny, I'm, I was sort of at that point where I was thinking about moving things, a lot of things around, like my bedroom. I get to this point where I get sick of things. Usually about a year after I move into a place, so I do tend to, or six months to a year, I will move furniture around because I'm just bored with it. <laughs> or I've thought of something better. That's generally what I think, but whether it's better or just different, I don't know. Okay. So what we might do with that is slip a cleaner spoon here, um, which had some soap batter on it. Now I'm just trying to make this not quite as, <laughs> it's still not thick enough. Okay, so we won't have a texture in anything going on. <laughs> no, no. Actually that one's pretty thick, it's, it has thickened up. So that might be all right to pour in there now. So I won't actually mix that anymore. Which means that other one's probably thick too. Just gets as much off of there as I can be bothered getting off because I don't have the patience for that shit. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I mean, it's thick. It's like my ass. <laughs> Come on guys, I had to say it. Okay, so let's just, oh nice, very nice, this is the perfect consistency, perfect. I wonder how long I'm going to have to wait before I can actually pipe this shit. <laughs> oh no, <sighs> me and my bright ideas, maybe I won't pipe it, maybe I'll just pile it on. <laughs> we'll see, we'll have a see. Oh, this smells so good. I can't get over how, how good this is. I think there might even be green cordial in the cupboard. So I might go in and have a smell just to make sure that I'm not misremembering it. But I'm pretty sure that this is like exact. Yeah. Coddy's lime, lime cooler. I'm pretty sure. Is that what we just decided that it was? Whatever, it's friggin' amazing. Uh, that's not going to get any texture into <laughs> it. It's way too loose of texture. <laughs> uh, no, that's not happening. Alrighty. And yes, this one is definitely thicker than that one. So this may not be a straight layer. I'm not caring about that at all. Um, and that, that, the difference in thickness will be due to more than likely the titanium so we'll just try and put this on here a little softer so it doesn't disturb the bottom layer too much or the, the middle layer because it's not the bottom layer the layer underneath it <laughs> just spread that out if you spread your layer out, it also stops it from the one underneath from sort of lifting up at the sides because it's a it's a heavy weight, a heavy even weight rather than just heavy in the middle. It's a little, little trick to know. Oh, this is great. So yeah, so it looks like the titanium has thickened it, although it'd be interesting to see also how it how it would have performed without the titanium and just that um what was it jade it could have been the color i mean that's always a possibility i was just going to do lime cooler with um with titanium in it 
which would have, you know, proven whether it was the lime, oh no, the titanium or the colour. Ah, uh, no, yeah, whether it was the titanium or not. Okay, so let's get that in there and move that over there out of the way. And we're just going to give this a bit of a wiggle so if we can't get it. What are you doing? Can you just not just go flat, please? Thank you. I mean, you can see how loose that still is. I mean, that's pretty impressive. All right, well, I'm going to actually turn this off until I can get this thick enough to pipe. And then I'll come back because there's like less than two, two and a half minutes left on this camera. So I'll be back. Okay, so the downside to having so little amount of piping is that it's very, very hard to stick blend. <laughs> it has thickened. It's probably not thick enough to pipe, but we're doing it anyway. Oh, there's the scissors. Yay, I found the scissors. Okay, so I just get my bags off eBay. Um, I'm pretty sure all my piping tips, that's the one I want, I think. Yeah, not that one. No, not that one. Yep, yeah, that's the one I want. Um, these white ones came in a set from Coles, I think. And the silver ones... Uh, uh, Wilton's. That one's not. That one is because it's got 2D on it. That's a 2D as well. So whatever these other ones are, uh, 2D. So these are probably Wilton's as well. Yeah, two Fs. But I've just got this, just this open star tip on this one. And yes, oh, is anyone surprised that that's in there? <laughs> Do you know how many of these I eat? My body will tell you too many because it had a fit at me today. That was very unpleasant. <laughs> I have eaten four in the last three days because um, um, because they're on special. They were four dollars each and they're normally ten dollars each so I bought four. This is not going to pipe very well I don't think. Just give it a. I don't know why this mixing is not helping it get any thicker. Anyway, we'll just we'll just go with it, and if it looks like shit, it looks like shit. Whatever. <laughs> so I'm just using a cup uh, to hold the bag open for me, so I don't have to try and hold it open, hold a jug, use a spatula all at the same time. Uh, most people who do any sort of piping do tend to use something to hold their bags open with. Um, I mean, I used to do it when I used to decorate cakes. So it's sort of something that, I don't know, you just you just know. <laughs> I don't know where I learned it from because I actually learned cake, decorate, blah, 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 cake decorating before the internet. So I don't know, probably would have been in a book maybe. Who knows? All right, that is it. That is all we're getting out of there. Oh, back is killing me. But yeah, so you just pop your bag over and then I always like to um, have my uh, tip sort of sitting like that in the bottom of the cup so a lot doesn't come out in the bottom. That's just, oh, you can't even see in there anyway. Well, there's a little bit in the bottom of that, but it's from a different one. <sighs> But I can see this is already starting to squirt out, so it's definitely not thick enough to pipe. <laughs> but I'm not leaving it because what will happen is I'll leave it and I'll remember it tomorrow. <laughs> we'll actually have a little look. Look, it's not too bad. I'm just going to have to be careful of the squeezing. I don't want to squeeze the bag too hard because it's just all going to just go blur at me. Oh, this is going to be difficult without it going blur at me. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yes. Oh, 
I'm shaking. I don't know if you can see how much I'm shaking, but my back is friggin' bad at the moment. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know, uh, but irritable bowel causes really bad back aches with me. I don't know what that is, but um, yeah, this is way too liquid. Way too liquid. Do not do your piping this liquid, people. It's just no good. But whatever. It is what it is. So, and like I said, if I don't do it now, I will forget. So, we're doing it now. Put a bit more down in there. We've got enough for another row here. Just trying to bring it over a little bit because I know that some of the drizzle is going to go down in there. Well, this is a lot more piping than I was expecting to do. I did say I'd have too much, didn't I? Okay, well, what I might do with the rest of that is just... <laughs> did you see how floppy that was? <laughs> it's super floppy. Oh dear, that's freaking hilarious. But yeah, like, I mean, I'd rather just do it when it's not quite set up rather than forget about it completely. So, alright, well, again, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to go get this melted and then we'll come back and do the drizzle. Managed to come back before the camera actually turned itself off. Okay, so, um,. I just put that in for 17 seconds. Still got a hard chunk in the middle, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly hot around the sides. So I'm going to just see if I can get the, the chunk to melt. It's definitely not as hot as it was because we've mixed the, the chunk in. Yeah, I know it's chunk. I like to say chunk, so shush. I don't really want to heat it anymore, even though there's still a few little chunky bits in there. Chunky bits. So, so have you had a look at the merch yet? What do you think? Did you, do you like it? I'm pretty stoked with how it came out, actually. Tonk. That's going to be pretty green. Not as in it looks like it's attractive, pretty, but like fairly green. I want it to look like green cordial. I don't want it to be like super dark that's sort of it's not quite right I might chuck, I'm gonna have to put it back in the microwave those chunks are not now I'm not squeezing that at all I'm just letting what's on the outside of the tube just dribble in there this is a really this is from candle supply and this is really good soap coloring it's really concentrated so if you're gonna buy it, I would highly recommend them. Yeah, now this is setting it back up again, so. All right, we'll go back to the microwave. I'll be back. Very nice, perfect. Um, I don't know about the color though. I think I'm gonna go another drop. Or another, let itself drop. Bugger it, why not? <laughs> Okie dokie, that's pretty good. All right, so. That's a squirt of alcohol to get rid of the um, the bubbles because there's tons in here. Now I'm just using a pipette or a pipette if you want to be fancy. And I'm just going to just drizzle. Ah, oh, so pretty. I tell you what, my finger is freaking killing me. That's not good. I must have really chewed the shit out of that. Oh, yeah. Loving it, loving it. And just a little bit more, just get some down the sides. Because I don't care if it covers up the fact that this is white at all. No, oh, that looks awesome. Alright, that'll do. I'm not going to put anything else on there except for some glitter. Um. I'm not going to go hollow this time. I'm going to do the 
the blizzardy one just because it's like super sparkly and sort of makes it look like it's bubbly because <laughs> I like putting um, uh, green cordial in the soda stream well not in the soda stream because that would be weird but you know what I mean like I like making soda stream drinks with the um, shut up I don't know <laughs> oh dear with green cordial right, I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there I'm going to actually take those out so they don't set in there the pipette I will throw in the bin just because you can't clean them and we will put a little bit of sprinkles on there well that was a lot of sprinkles on there so someone will get a very cute one and that's it that's all I'm going to do to that I think that that's pretty fabulous as it is this I will just let it set in the jug and cover the jug up and put it in my cupboard and then when I need green melt and pour I've got it it's got no fragrance in it so there you go that's it I can probably oh, it's definitely set up it's definitely not as loose as it was up we come Oi. get it in the right place <laughs> it might actually focus itself I don't know how to work a camera oh no microphone cord is in the way <laughs> there we go microphone's sort of in the way no come back there that's it there we go look that's the perfect place look there <laughs> There you go. All right, well, I'm gonna take a photo for the thumbnail, quick video for Instagram, and that's it. And I'll see you for the cutting. Bye. Hello. So this is probably gonna be the quickest cutting you've ever seen. <laughs> it's so hot in here. I probably could have left it. It's very soft, as you can see. I've kind of wrecked it as I took it out of the mold, um, and it smells different. It's more an actual lime now than lime cordial. I mean, I'm not hating it. It's beautiful. But yeah, it's definitely got um, more actual lime notes now. I mean, it still has that lime cooler kind of smell. But um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see that it's changed. Now, this ashed a little bit. Just You can see it on that one. my hands aren't shaking that much yeah you can see that uh you can't you can't really see it because it's too shiny <laughs> but there's definitely ash on it and i soaked with a water discount so yeah but i mean this is just nice i like the colors the three greens work really nicely together and then you've got that little pop on top the pop on top so i'm absolutely loving this soap i've got to say i'm even liking the fact that the layers aren't straight and you know me i'm all about the straight levels well no i'm not i used to always hate straight levels straight layers and then i started liking them and now i don't like them again i don't know <laughs> i don't know i like this anyway um but yeah it's so beautiful now i may have done something a little naughty um <laughs> so i may possibly have bought some more fragrances from range now that we know that they are body safe and soap safe. Oh, look at that. That's really, that's really cute, that little bit. <laughs> it's like a little wave that's just sort of kicked up in the air. Um, yeah, now that we know that they're um, body safe and soap safe, um, I thought, why the hell not? So I have bought a lot more. <sighs> so, yeah, so there'll be a, a sniffing video probably before this one actually comes out because i still have another I think, four or five soaps before this one so uh because at the time of filming this you guys will probably get the cherry wild video tomorrow maybe what's the day thursday yeah now i might release that tomorrow or i might just do a an update because i got a bunch of new products to show you which I'm very excited about but I haven't finished printing them <laughs> because you guys just keep putting in orders which is great I'm not complaining I'm really not complaining oh that's cute oh I like that I need to be able I need to do that more I'll show you in a second um geez, it's hot in here it's 36.9 <laughs> 
so it's 37 degrees in here. I mean, that side's cute, but look at this side. Look at this little cute little bit here. How cute is that? I love it. Absolutely love it. But yeah, I mean, there's there's no um, fragrance leakage. It has gelled by the looks of it, but not all the way to the sides, maybe, because it's got sort of a bit of a ring around it. Let's have a look at some other pieces. Oh yeah, 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 I can see it. It's, I mean, it's there, it's not real visible, but you can just see just around here, there's actually a gel ring. Not enough to worry about by any stretch of the imagination. So, I'm stoked with that, super, super stoked with that. So, Alright, so the Clementine is now, which is over there, which you can't see, which is here. Hello. That, oh, still has a little bit of fragrance leak. It still hasn't gone all, hasn't all soaked up yet. But I'll go get the box and I'll take that inside today anyway. And I'm going to soak with that tonight, the Clementine. Let's see what it's like. Alright, that's it. I told you it was going to be quick. <laughs> Bye.